In Singapore, dementia in people over 65 is expected to increase. Memory loss and confusion were common symptoms diagnosed in more than 20,000 people with dementia in 2005. By 2050, that number may increase 10 times to close to 200,000. These projections will become a reality if the damage to the brain cannot be stopped. Dr. Christine Chong's research is shedding light on Alzheimer's, a neurodegenerative disease that causes dementia. When someone suffers from Alzheimer's disease or stroke, their brain is actually deprived of oxygen due to the damages to the blood vessels. But what if the damage to the blood vessels in the brains can be reversed? Dr. Chong is trying to tackle one of the primary causes of dementia. There is unfortunately no treatment to cure dementia or to alter its progression. Dr. Chung wants to enable the discovery of drugs and nutrition that can prevent or even reverse damage to the brain. She went on to create the brain blood vessel cells in a dish. So this, to us, was a major step forward. In practice, you can never extract any healthy brain cells from a live donor, as it is highly invasive. So when we found out that we were able to mimic or create these healthy brain blood vessel cells from stem cells in our laboratory, we can now start to use them for experimental testing. Scientists now can study the conditions that lead to dementia. For example, when the cells are deprived of oxygen or are dosed with toxic amyloid, an abnormal protein buildup. We then observe how these brain blood vessel cells respond to these challenges. If we were able to pinpoint the type of damages and even measure the severity. These cells now are very nice. They allow us and the wider research community to use them to hence develop drugs or nutritional compounds that can restore the health of our blood vessels. It's just the first step in a long journey of tests and experiments. But if our scientists are successful, we would be one step closer to preventing or treating Alzheimer's.